Hello everyone, it's Urza here, speaking in a video once again because of something that happened in my last Alliance War. So last time I commentated a video, it was to discuss a certain counter to a certain meta defense team. So the meta defense team in question, I came across it again, it's right here. Surfer, Coulson, and Humans, and I'm going to once again use the counter that I used in that previous video. Uncanny X-Men with Ultron. So we'll get well I'll get back into why it works and then also give a give a slightly more comprehensive uh, explanation with some more of the nuances that occur in this video. But uh, before we get there and re review why this team works so well against Black Bolt, Colson Surfer we have to look at what's a little bit different this time. So there are a couple differences in this fight compared to last time. Um, my Colossus is a little bigger. I took him from six to seven stars, yellow stars, in the last couple of days. So my team powers around six or seven, maybe 8,000 stronger than it was before. But otherwise, everyone else is untouched. Uh, Cyclops is still geared tier 12, Psylocke is still geared tier 9, Ultron and Colossus are still geared tier 14, and Phoenix is, of course, remained at gear tier 15. The enemy team I'm facing, this time we have a much bigger Black Bolt and Surfer than in the previous fight I recorded. Yo Yo's a little smaller, but overall the team is much bigger than last time, and we're punching up 30% rather than 12. Finally, we're adjacent to security this time, so we have a defense down that wasn't affecting us in the previous attempt. So in the previous fight, we had no defense down and we were a little weaker. This time, we're punching a much bigger plus with the security debuff. So let's move into why how this team is going to work. So ideally, we're going to want Phoenix to die quickly because of Coulson and let Colossus pick up a taunt. So... First though, enemy Surfer goes, and you'll notice that because of the defense down, Surfer hits Cyclops and Psylocke much lower than last time. It's also due to the fact that the Surfer's bigger, but most importantly, it's because of the defense down. So because of this defense down, if Cyclops or Psylocke drops any lower, Colossus is going to pick up a taunt. So that's actually this can actually be a very useful thing for us to have. Phoenix absorbs all the defense downs. Uh, she keeps the offense down for one more turn that Yo-Yo just gave her, which means that for me in this fight, Colossus actually has more damage than her. So because Colossus is more damage than Phoenix, Coulson's ult targets him instead, but it's fine because Phoenix still has defense down and it's going to get hit low anyway. So Phoenix doesn't get hit by Black Bolt because of the evade from Psylocke, but Crystal's going to take her out anyway. So Crystal gets rid of Phoenix, and then we're going to debate with ourselves what Cyclops is going to do. Cyclops uses his special and dies. And then this is the other key moment that we talked about last time. Ultron gets disrupted by Black Bolt when he summons. But Psylocke is going to remove this disrupt before his bots start buffing him. So Psylocke removes the disrupt. Ultron's going to get buffed normally. So this is why Psylocke counters. So we talked about why Phoenix and Colossus counter Coulson. This is why Psylocke counters Black Bolt. One, with the evades that she puts when her allies get low. And two, by removing the disrupt from Ultron. Now we're going to start boosting Ultron. And unlike the previous video, this time Ultron misses on Yo-Yo. However, Phoenix still has the offense up, so even when Phoenix gets offense down from Yo-Yo here, she's still able to remove Coulson and Crystal from the fight. After this, it's just some simple cleanup. We're going to get rid of Yo-Yo to remove those deep offense downs, and Surfer and Black Bolt are not fast or dangerous enough to cause us too many problems. Surfer is going to speed up, which is why Ultron... Once again, is the third and most important counter on this team. Phoenix and Colossus counter Coulson, Psylocke countered Black Bolt, and Ultron is the reason we can take down Silver Surfer here at the end. Surfer speeds up, right? As 
time goes on, after three or four turns, he hits after three turns he hits his maximum speed, and at that point it's very hard to control him. Thankfully, Ultron with his accelerator and incinerator bots gets enough speed ups and offense ups to both himself and his team that silver even the fast silver surfer can be taken down. The cleanup does take a little bit of time, but it won't take too long that I'll time out. And now Ultron kills Surfer, and we win the fight. So, this is no small punch up. This is a 30% punch up, and did it pretty handily. So, <clears throat> I hope this reminds or convinces you that Uncanny X-Men still have a place in the War Offense meta, and that with Ultron, they are still an amazing counter to many teams, most notably this Surfer, Black Bolt, and Coulson right here. So to wrap this up, let's just review what we had to go through, or what this my team here went through. Med Bay, Barracks, Bridge, and Security buffs all at once. In a very, very solid 130 per, 130k power punch up, or 30%. So it is a monster punch up, worked really well. So I, I really hope that it reinforces the idea of how strong X Men are still uh, still are in the meta. I hope you found this video entertaining, enjoyable, or informative in any way. If so, please let me know with a like or in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.